extra one. Twelve is a group of ten and two extra ones. Thirteen is a group of ten and three extra ones. Fourteen is a group of ten and four extra ones. Fifteen is a group of ten and five extra ones. Sixteen is a group of ten and six extra ones. Seventeen is a group of ten and seven extra ones. Eighteen is a group of ten and eight extra ones. Nineteen is a group of ten and nine extra ones. Come on, everybody, let's sing it again. Again. Numbers in the teens have a group of ten. Come on, everybody, let's sing it again. Numbers in the teens have a group of ten. Ten is a group of ten and zero extra ones. Eleven is a group of ten and one extra one. Twelve is a group of ten and two extra ones. Can Marie, please listen politely to the video. Of ten and three extra ones. 14 is a group of 10 and 4 extra ones. 15 is a group of 10 and 5 extra ones. 16 is a group of 10 and 6 extra ones. 17 is a group of 10 and 7 extra ones. 18 is a group of 10 and 8 extra ones. 19 is a group of 10 and 9 extra ones. Come on, everybody, let's sing it again. Numbers in the teens have a group of ten. Come on, everybody, let's sing it again. Numbers in the teens have a group of ten. All right. Children's songs, sing and move along. Children's songs, make your brain and body. Okay, thank you, everybody doing those songs with us. I love those numbers in the teens. If you are in first grade, you may um, you may leave second graders stay. I think I only see two first graders still here. Um, all right. So first grade, okay. First graders, go quietly. Second graders, we are talking about place value, right? Place value in numbers. And let's see. we always, in numbers, you always start, like place value starts on um, the right, okay? Oh Troy, you tell Brayden that I'm gonna be calling your house and talking to him if he's not going to leave you alone during our class, just like he's not allowed to bother you during class here. I'll tell my mom when I'm done with the meeting. Okay. All right. So when we're looking at place value, we're looking about, we always start on the right when we're talking about ones, and then we move further to the left with each one. So if I were to write the number 18, like in our song, Numbers in the Teens, Right, we have eight ones and one ten. Okay, if I were to say, oh, a hundred and twenty eight, right? One hundred and twenty eight has one in the hundreds place, it has two in the tens place, and it has eight in the ones place. Thank you, Valerie, for joining our meeting. I know I had to bother you a little bit to get here, so I appreciate that you're here. Um, if I were to write 219, I have, Jay, can you put that hairbrush down so I know that you can focus in, on what we're doing? I have two in the hundreds place, I have one in the tens, and I have nine in the ones place, right? And guess what? Those places always stay that same place. One is always going to be on the right, and then tens, and then hundreds, and then one over would be thousands, right? Okay. 
Now, yesterday I talked about all of those straws that I had, right? And we talked about different ways to count them and to be pretty efficient when we were counting them. Um, and kind of how we could do that. <laughs> I borrowed lots and lots of straws from Mrs. Champlin, but you know what? I need to have more rubber bands. That's what I need. <laughs> And we talked about how a better way to count them, rather than having to sit there and count each one of these straws by ones, that it might be better to group them into groups of two, and then into groups of 10, and then into groups of 100, right? So if you guys were to help me, Need more rubber bands. I need to find my rubber band stash. Everything got a little bit crazy. So I'm gonna tilt this screen down. So hopefully you guys can see all my straws. You can see my straws. Okay. So you're going to help me count this. And first we're going to count by twos and we're going to put it into groups of 10. So two, four, six, eight, 10. Do I keep going or do I stop and I group it? I should see people saying, stop, Ms. Kennison, stop, right? Stop and group it. Very good. Stop and group it. Very good. So I should stop with my group of 10. I put a rubber band around it or set it. Oops. Oh, no. Now my rubber bands are breaking. Oh, bugger. All right. Well, there's my group of 10. I need to buy some more rubber bands, I guess. Okay, so I've got one group of 10 so far. I need to keep going. Two, four, six, eight, 10. And I stop again and there's another bundle of 10 because it's gonna be really easy when I get to count these by tens. I'm gonna make my life so much easier. Two, Four, six, eight, ten. I've got another group of ten. Let me put those together in another group. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Got another group. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Oh my goodness, we've got so many straws here. Thank goodness I can group them into groups of ten to make my life easier, right? Got another group of 10, two, four. If you guys want to count aloud on your end, you don't need to um, to unmute, but just count aloud so you guys have something to do. Two, four, six, eight, 10. We have another group of 10. Got two, four, six, eight, ten. Another group of ten. Two. Four, six, eight, ten. I've got a group of ten. Oh my goodness, I'm getting a whole big pile 
of tens over here. Do you think I almost have a hundred? Thumbs up if you think we have a hundred yet. Thumbs down if you think we need to keep going to get to a hundred. You'll see, I see lots of thumbs up. Okay, we'll keep counting. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Here's another group of ten. Two, four, six, six, eight, ten. We've got another group of ten. Oh my goodness, we've got so many straws. It's a good thing we had a strategy on how to count these, right? Miss Kenneth would be losing her mind if I was trying to count these by ones. Two. Four, six, eight, ten. And then I've only got, I've got two, four, six left. Do I put them into a bundle? No, I don't, right? So let's count how many bundles I have. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven bundles. Let's count by tens. Ten, twenty, thirty. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110. So did you know if I have, eleven bundles of ten, I would have to write that as this. Eleven bundles of ten would mean one hundred and ten. Eleven bundles of ten is the same thing as saying a hundred and ten. So eleven tens. Miss Kenson's trying to write upside down. Equals. One hundred and ten. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Now we're not done yet though because we didn't finish counting all of ours. So we've got one bundle of a hundred. So I've got to put that together, make a bundle. <laughs> got straws everywhere, man. All right, I've got one group of 100. I have one group of 10, and I have six ones. So what number did we build right now? One group of 100. One group of ten and six ones. We built the number 116. 100, 110, six ones, 116. All right. Oof, boys and girls, you guys are awesome helpers. So it makes our lives a lot easier when we can count by twos or by fives or by tens to count numbers so that we're not hopping all over the place, right? That makes our lives so much easier 
because then we don't lose track of where we're counting. So there's strategies that we can use when we're counting and when we're working with numbers in order to make our lives easier. And bundling them together is a really good strategy. Thinking about those numbers in their place values will help us find them and count them as we go, okay? All right, let's end on oh no that's not i need to find my song that i wanted to end on Can't see it. I know. I'm trying to find it so I can share it with you guys. There it is. Counting off. Jack Carson. Give me the Let's learn our number pairs. Build your math fluency. These are number pairs that make ten. I can say my number pairs, yes I can. I can say my number pairs and use my hands. I know that two parts make a whole. Let's learn the number pairs of ten, nice and slow. Ten and zero. Zero and ten. Nine. And one, one, and nine, eight, and two, two, and eight, seven, and three, three, and seven, six, and four. Four and six, five and five, five and five. Those are the number pairs that make ten a little faster. Ten and zero, zero. And ten, nine, and one, one, and nine, eight, and two, two, and eight, seven, and three, three, and, and seven, seven, six. And four, four, and six, five, and five, five, and five. Those are the number pairs that make ten a little faster. Ten and zero, zero. And ten, nine, Troy. And oh, one. Troy, don't do that. Don't do that, one. Troy. And nine, uh. eight, <laughs> and two, two, and eight, seven, and three, three, and seven, six, and four. Four and six, five and five, five and five. Those are the number pairs that make ten. I can say my number pairs. Yes, I can. I can say my number pairs and use my hands. I know that two parts. Make a hole. 
Learning my number pairs helps my brain grow. All right, boys and girls, thank you so much for learning with me and practicing with me today. Give yourselves a pat on the back. Get on to your lessons on Google Classroom. And your answer um, things are in that slideshow for this week, okay? I was seeing if I liked that better than the assist program. We'll just kind of see. Okay, we so. Might, we got to run in twin today, but still, um, and I'll be done with that tomorrow when I'm, um, I'm done with all my Okay, there's only a few slides with work on it, so it's not a whole lot of work. All right, not an overwhelming amount. Okay, goodbye, second graders. Thank you so much for coming. I liked learning with Bye, you today. Bye, Bye. Hi, Hi Jay. Boy. Boy.